Finding a travel destination for specific seasons has always been a hassle for us. Especially in low season, it's hard to find your perfect dream vacation. For this reason, we created this list to give you an inspiration for the best 7 places to visit in April and May. Number 1. Portugal. The first entry on our list is one of the most underrated countries in Europe. Portugal lies on the Atlantic coast and has a pleasant moderate climate all year round. However, swimming in the sea might become a little chilly, as the water temperatures will not rise above the 20 degrees Celsius. Lisbon, the country's capital, is definitely one of the main reasons why you should visit. The beautiful castles of Sintra and the famous tram are just two of the many attractions around the city. If you're more a beach kind of person, consider exploring the region of Algarve in the south of Portugal. It would be a pity though to stay just in one place. The Azores and the beautiful island of Madeira are the perfect place for nature and wine lovers. One of the best and maybe the coolest options to explore the mainland is by renting a camper. Number 2. Zambia If you have saved up enough money, Zambia is the destination to go with. Due to its luxury travel packages, it offers an exclusive experience for wildlife lovers. The perfect time to visit the region is from April to May. Dry season is just starting, the game is active and the ponds still hold some water. Its most famous attraction are of course the Victoria Falls, on the border to Zimbabwe. A must do if you are visiting the country is a helicopter ride over the falls called the Flight of Angels. Perfect for all kinds of travelers, the country offers a wide variety of attractions. From white water rafting and a river cruise on the Zambezi River to a hot air balloon safari over Kafu National Park. The choice is all yours. Due to its proximity, you further have the option to visit the Chobe National Park in Botswana. Spending a few nights at one of the high-end game lodges gives you the opportunity to sleep under the stars and wake up with the wildlife just in front of you. Even though this trip is on the expensive side, it's a very unique experience. Number 3. The Seychelles. This island archipelago is the ultimate honeymoon destination. In contrast to the Maldives, the Seychelles offer a lot more things to do so you won't get bored easily. You can find lovely guest houses but also four-star luxury hotels laying directly on white sand beaches and turquoise waters. Victoria, the world's smallest capital, built the economic center of Mahé, the main island. Although, consider visiting Ladique, the Carles Island and Praline for a more relaxed stay. You can travel the Seychelles all year round, but we recommend going there in April-May, as temperatures are not that hot and it's less humid. The average water temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius, perfect for swimming and snorkeling. Rent a car if you want to be more flexible or take the local bus which only costs around 30 cents per ride. Number 4. Bali As one of the most traveled islands in Southeast Asia, this tropical paradise is perfect for adventurous and active people. No matter if you are a group of friends, a couple or a family with children, Bali offers something for everyone. From May to October, dry season hits Bali and brings a lot of sun. Seminyak and Changu are the hotspots for backpackers and nightlife. You will find a lot of beach bars, trendy restaurants and young people. The centrally located city of Ubud is the perfect starting point for exploring nature and the spectacular waterfalls Bali calls its own. The best way to get around is to rent a scooter and drive to your point of interest. If you have time at your disposal, we would recommend hopping on a boat and exploring the surrounding islands. Nusa Penida and the three Gili Islands are a must if you want to experience the region to its fullest. Number 5. The Philippines. Let's go on to our favorite country of the world. Even though it is a little bit of a hassle to travel the Philippines, because it consists of 7,641 islands, it's absolutely worth it. It is the right place for people and groups who are not afraid of investing a little extra time in transportation, as getting from one island to the other can be a little tricky. 
you basically only have the option to fly with a plane or to take a boat. On the other hand, getting around on the islands themselves is very easy and cheap. Hop on a tuk-tuk, tell the driver your destination and enjoy the ride. In contrast with Bali, dry season runs from November to April. May is considered a shoulder month, describing the month before rainy season. Our two must-see places in the Philippines are the islands of Palawan and Boracay. You should definitely take a trip to the Big Lagoon in El Nido, as it is one of the most beautiful sceneries we've ever witnessed. Boracay, the former party island, with its white sand beaches, has now a more relaxed atmosphere and is a perfect destination for couples. Number 6. Florida Florida isn't called the Sunshine State for nothing. In average, there is no month with less than 20 days of sun. The typical high temperature in Miami during April is 27 degrees Celsius. The state impresses with its diversity and nature. From the nightlife and luxury in Miami to the beauty of Key West and the raw nature of the Everglades, you can experience everything with just one trip. Not to forget the countless amusement parks of Orlando and the coldness of the Gulf Coast make this region a perfect destination for basically everyone. The best way to explore Florida is to rent a car and drive along the coast. Our favorite place in Florida is Key West. Just make sure to stay at least one night and watch the sunset. Furthermore, we really love Fort Myers for its amazing people and tranquility and Orlando for its amusement parks. First and foremost, the Disney World theme park. Number 7. Morocco Not your standard destination, but definitely a country you'll fall in love with. Morocco. The ancient Medina, that's what the old part of each city is called, throws you back in time and makes you think you're still in the Middle Ages. A must visit are the souks. Bargaining is a must. These street markets are like a labyrinth and easy to get lost. But is there any better way to explore the city? Either if you like hiking or having a sunbathe, the country has a place for everyone. April and May are the best months to visit because in summer temperatures may rise up to 40 degrees Celsius. Most people are likely to rent a car as you can travel individually, but we strongly recommend taking the train. Trains in Morocco are safe, clean and cheap, even in first class. A must visit if you decide to come here is definitely Chef Chawen, the blue city and Fez, one of the oldest cities in the world. Hi there! Thank you for watching our video. Although it is not really possible to travel at the moment, but we hope to be back on track soon and to be an inspiration for your next trip. Please give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you like our content. And if you have any requests for future videos, just leave a comment down below. So thanks again for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye! Bye.